Hey, so today we got the trailer, finally, for Star Wars Episode Nine. Um, I've been holding out hope for Episode Nine after, you know, The Last Jedi is a Star Wars fan who hated The Last Jedi, as you already know. I watched this trailer about, like, five times already, and, oh man, it, every time it makes me even more excited to go see it, so, um... If you haven't seen the trailer yet, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it on here. I don't really care. Uh, let's just watch it together. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. This is your fight. Skywalker lightsaber fixed there. to see stuff like that in a Star Wars movie. Fixing the helmet. <laughs> Lando looking good, mate. Good. It's the music too, I think the music just gets you. It's that Leia music. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. The Rise of Skywalker. All right. Yeah, so there was just even a lot in that trailer to to uh, go through. I guess Emperor Palpatine's back here, <laughs> or like Force Ghost Emperor Palpatine. Um, and then Luke Skywalker said, "You know, no one's ever really gone." So who knows? I don't who, like. There's been speculation about a Force Ghost fight or whatever, but. I mean, if they do it right, I guess I guess it could be really cool. I hope the whole movie is like this trailer. I really do. <laughs> Luke Skywalker said, you know, no one's ever really gone. I don't know if they're going to bring him back or if he's just going to be back as a Force ghost. Um, you know, we've heard that he, that he only had a small part in this, but, you know, we don't know for sure. Skywalker lightsaber is fixed. We were thinking she was going to have a staff saber in this one, but uh, I guess they fixed Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, which is pretty neat. Uh, that jump over the over the TIE Fighter was pretty cool. I think that they're probably going to explain... It sounds like in this one they're going to explain, like, why Rey has been so, like, powerful without having to train or anything this whole time. Luke was kind of like, we're all in you or something. I don't know what that meant. I, I don't know if she has, like, the... Who knows, like the force power of all the force ghosts or whatever. I'm glad to see Kylo Ren fix his helmet because that was pretty lame in the last one. Like, uh, I think that character is really a lot, definitely a lot cooler with his helmet on. And uh, what else? Lando lo looking good back in the Millennium Falcon where he belongs. That was that was great. Him and Chewie. Now, I don't know if that poster that came out a while ago was fake. It kind of looks a little more real to me now that I see this. I'll have to put it up on screen. I'll put it up on screen right now. That poster looks a little more real to me now that I've seen this this trailer. I mean, it's got, you know, Ray in that outfit and all the characters except for uh, the only thing that that still kind of makes it feel fake is C-3PO with that bowcaster, with that Wookiee bowcaster. But uh, so the last Jedi trailer I was pumped about, too, <laughs> but that that kind of burned us. Uh, you got the the lightsabers fixed. As you remember, that was broken in the the last Jedi yeah, so that was Kylo Ren's ship that she jumped over, so he was trying to hit her or something. That was a pretty damn cool scene, actually. I wanted to see some stuff, like, from um, the Force Unleashed games, if you played those. Those were really good, man. Like, he was, like, ripping Imperial Star Destroyers out of the sky. <laughs> it was pretty cool. If there's a reason behind Rey's power this whole time, then that's that's great. Like, I, I really hope that J.J. Abrams does clean up a lot of the mess that was left behind by The Last Jedi and save whatever he can from this trilogy. I really didn't mind, you know, The Force Awakens. I thought I thought he did a okay job on that. I mean, of course there was a lot wrong with it, but it, it was still 
it was still a fun movie. It was a good. It was a fun Star Wars movie. Kylo actually uh, uses his his uh, cross guard for something this time. <laughs> See, he's like sticking it in this guy. So it has it actually has a use now. It's not just a cool cool feature. He's fixing the helmet there. Somebody is. What is that's what? Those are furry hands. Wait a second. Those are those are furry hands. What is that? What's fixing his helmet? I don't want to put it on again because it's really loud, but... Huh. Well, somebody's fixing up his helmet. I don't know what... That doesn't look like Wookiee hands. I don't know. I haven't really watched any other, you know, reviews or takes on this yet, so... This is all just from the top of my head. Got Poe and Finn there. They're, like, out in the... Trekking in the desert. BB-8's back. And we got a little... What is this little guy here? This little... Wheel droid. Does BB-8 have a buddy now? Maybe possibly a wife? We don't know. There's Lando and Chewie. Yeah, that's pretty damn cool. I mean, this scene alone plus the Leia music just makes it for me like... I'm excited to see this movie again. I really... Oh, man, I really hope that they don't... That they don't freaking mess this up. Because it's really the last chance you got. I, I want to see Luke Skywalker again. I do want to see... Even if it's a ghost, I would go see a movie, you know? Ah, oh, man. It does not appear that C-3PO is wielding a Wookiee bowcaster, so that's good. <laughs> that's good so far. This kind of reminds you of the skiff scene in Return of the Jedi. Of course, they're probably going to have some imagery from that in here. There's the medal from the end of A New Hope that uh, Chewie, Luke, and Han get. Leia puts it on them. Looks like she's holding it. That was probably shot during episode 7 or something. They're just using old footage of uh, Carrie Fisher. Where's R2-D2? No R2. Just BB-8 and his little green wife, whoever that is. No Porgs. This looks like a... This is a piece... Of, yeah, okay. So this is a piece of the second Death Star. And then right after we see this, uh, we hear the the uh, maniacal laugh of Emperor Palpatine. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like they find the second Death Star. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to be in there living, like just chilling in there. But, you know, who knows? They're going to have like some kind of Force Ghost or something fourth ghost face off i just hope that the movie is just like this trailer like two hours long make it good finish it off the rise of the skywalker this title i mean it's cool it is really cool but it i, I guess it is pretty cool i mean return of the jedi rise of the skywalker it's the end of the skywalker saga i mean still you know still it's just like oh man we don't have luke skywalker anymore we don't have han solo it's just kind of like eh. but you know We'll see. This gives me a renewed hope for this movie and definitely more excited to see it now. I hope it doesn't let me down like The Last Jedi did. <laughs> Thanks for watching with me. Um, if you have any comments, if you saw anything that I missed, let me know down below in the comments. Please, I want to talk about it. And we will do another one of these when the when a full trailer comes out or another teaser or whatever. So I hope you're having a good one and I will see you next time.